and welcome to another episode of Cracking Open. Today, we've got the Galaxy S10 Plus, which CNET has reviewed. You can read the full review on CNET.com from Jessica Dolcourt. Of course, this device is known for its in-screen fingerprint sensor, ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. That's right. Uh, new three cameras uh, on the back, including an ultra-wide camera and an edge-to-edge -edge screen. The infinity uh display with no notch but a little sort of hole punch uh, hole punch That's right yeah on the side so bill you can't wait to get uh, right. your hands on this thing and and show everybody what's inside right yeah i'm really interested to see what's inside the phone there's always a lot of great tech inside samsung devices they're always engineered really well so it's a pleasure to crack them open i'd like to see the size of the battery this year to see how it compares to last year we want to see the chip layout the motherboard layout also some of the new tech right what does this ultrasonic fingerprint sensor look like can we see that is there any new layout with respect to the ports the usb-c port on the bottom of it there's still a headphone jack uh, which is nice for people that like those so it's my I, favorite I, feature i always <laughs> uh enjoy cracking these open with one exception um that was last yes. year's note nine which we literally cracked yeah open. We, we did we literally <laughs> cracked it open by fracturing the back panel while removing it. Um, we didn't have that problem with the S9, so hopefully we won't have that problem with this one. But yeah, a lot of exciting things to see, so we're really um, ready to get started. All right, let's crack it open. There are lots of ways to loosen the adhesive that hold the back covers onto these phones. Heat is usually uh, the best way, and there are a lot of ways uh, you can do that. You can use a heat gun like I'm using. You can use a hair dryer takes a little longer, or you can use a heating pad. The trick is to just get the adhesive loose enough uh, that we can pull the back off without damaging the internal components of the back. So we were finally able, after heating the adhesive, to loosen it up enough to get one of our guitar picks under the back cover and sever off uh, the glue. We still want to be very careful uh, to not put too much pressure on the back cover and end up cracking it. We don't want that to happen. Now we've been able to work our way all the way around the edge of the back cover, separate all the adhesive. Now we just need to very gently this pull up on the cover. And with that, voila, we have our first look inside the S10. All right, Bill, so we've got it apart, and this time it didn't crack. That's right. Uh, we managed to great. get the back off and not damage it like we did with the Note 9. So big plus for us. Yeah, so some cool stuff. Let's talk about this. The inductive charging coil we see right here, yeah? Yeah, so one of the neat features on the new S10 is that it has uh, inductive charging can go both ways, right? Yeah, wireless so, power share. That's new right. Feature. We'll need to go ahead and uh, start removing some screws and uh, pulling some things out. Digging now, deeper. Digging a little deeper. Oh, we can go ahead and take the screws out, see what else we can see. All right, let's do it. With all those screws removed, we can go ahead and remove the inductive charging coil. Again, very, very, and the plastic cover it's attached to again very very gently So attached to the same assembly that holds the inductive uh, charging coils, we also have the speaker as well. All right, Bill, so you got a little deeper into the Galaxy S10 Plus. Tell us what we're looking at. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and hold this up so we can get a close up of the camera here. So we have removed the induction coil assembly, right? We talked about that earlier, which is interesting because it also has the speaker uh, attached to it as okay. well. Now, what's interesting in the construction 
of the system board here, one of the things that we can see is that it's the same kind of design that we've seen for the last several years where you have an L, a roughly an L-shaped or, a, I don't know, half C, U-shaped yeah. system board with a lot of components at the top, the uh, main chips along the side here, and then a connection to some of the components of the ports usually at the bottom. The USB-C port in this case, the headphone jack in this case. What's different here, besides, you know, three cameras and the different, the overall sort of different kind of chips that are on there, is that in with the S9, there was actually a two-piece board construction. You had a board down here at the bottom connecting the ports, and then you had a separate board up here at the top. They were connected by a cable. Now, that's good if you damage the USB-C cable uh, port, right? Then you don't have to replace the entire system board uh, to fix that, or you know, it makes it a little easier to replace the smaller board than it does the whole board. Here you can't do that, so that, that's a consideration when it comes to repair. We can see the vibration, uh, the vibration motor there, yep. um, and we can see a lot of the uh, little flexible foldable cables there connecting the battery and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and continue diving a little deeper. There's a few more screws to remove before we can pull out the motherboard. We're going to need to disconnect. Uh, these cables, and then we are going to leave the battery in the phone, right? We are so, going to still use this device right. afterwards, so yep. we want to leave it functional. You haven't broken anything, everything's in good order. So yeah, that, we, uh, we can't we destroy can this. Together. We've got to give it back to the reviews folks at CNET, so uh, they'd be kind of mad at me if uh, if it came back broken. So, yeah, so we're going to keep, uh, keep on going. All right, All let's right. do it. We can remove the front facing camera here and get a tight shot of that. Yeah. With a little bit of a pop, but nothing's damaged. We can remove the uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack. And with that, we can gently lift out the main circuit board. With the circuit board removed, we can also remove the rear camera assembly here. We're going to be very careful doing this. We're actually going to push ever so slightly on the edges. Put this loose. There we go. And it comes out even though we have we have three cameras, a uh, bank of two and then the one over here, it comes out all as one piece, even though there are two cable connectors. All right, Bill, so you spilled the guts on this thing. We've got circuit boards, we've got batteries, we've got cameras, we've got sensors, we've got SIM trays. Tell us what you learned. Yeah, well, we learned a lot of interesting things, right? Some of the things we've already talked about, for example, uh, we can see the USB-C port is connected to the main circuit board. It's not two separate boards. Um, other things that we learned, uh, if we flip this over here, we can see the adhesive tape uh, that's on the back, or not adhesive, this is a little thermal uh, okay. tape that helps transfer heat from the circuits underneath the shields, the metal shields, uh, to a larger heat pipe here. This is uh, larger than we saw on the S9, so um, it's Samsung's uh, effort to address some of the heat issues you might have with a larger battery, with the heat from the chips, with heat generated perhaps from the uh, in new inductive charging coils, which work both ways now. So that's always a good thing when Very you're dealing cool. with these small devices. We also have, we can and we can see it now fully, the larger battery here. Yep. And now the only thing that we really can't see that we were interested in seeing was the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. Now that's gonna be located about right here uh, behind and below the battery. And while this battery, you can remove it, it would require a lot of prying. It's, it's 
held to the frame with a lot of really sticky adhesive. And so some phones have little strips that have pull tabs on them, like the um, strips that you could use to hang photos on your wall. The S10 does not have those strips, so in order to remove the battery, we would have to pry it off a lot. I, I don't want to risk dangerous. puncturing the battery. Yep. So we're going to leave the battery in place. So it means we don't get to see uh, the components underneath. It also means we don't get to remove the new Infinity uh, O display. They have the yep. edge-to-edge -edge display. Um, but if obviously if the battery was uh, sort of failing or if the display was cracked, you can do that. We just don't want to do it here. All right, that's it for this episode of Cracking Open, the Galaxy S10 Plus. If you want to see other Cracking Opens, go to CNET.com for all of the videos. Go to TechRepublic.com for all of the photos. And if you have a device that you'd like to see us crack open, leave us a message in the comments and we'll take a look. We're always looking for new stuff to crack open. Definitely. All right, subscribe to the channel if you have any questions. Hit us up in the comments or on Twitter and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.